This is question number 11 on the California Sea Best uh, sample exam. At a college, approximately two out of five seniors go on to attend graduate school. If there are 750 seniors at the college, how many would be expected to attend graduate school? All right, well, if you've looked at uh, some of the previous videos, um, particularly question number nine, we talked about proportions. This is another question that we can use solving proportions. Truly, proportions are such a valuable tool, so you do want to become familiar with those. All right, again, you can recognize it as a proportion because you're given a set of uh, variables and you're asked to equate one of those sets of variables uh, with uh, with another and so it's just a matter of, of solving for the missing variable all right let me show you what I mean by this you can almost always recognize uh, that you're going to set up a proportion when you get something like two out of or something out of something and then you're given another number which has the same unit as one of the previous numbers okay so we're given two out of five right now in this case both variables refer to seniors right two refers to the two seniors there are two seniors out of five seniors so in this case you can think about this number as being the whole number this number as being the part so part and this is the whole all right we're going to make this equivalent to something else well we have 750 seniors is that the whole, okay if there are 750 seniors at the college does that represent the whole or the part before I put this uh, before I solve this problem for you I want you to think about does this 750 go on the top or does it go on the bottom there are two seniors out of five seniors who go on to attend graduate school the two is the part so if there are 750 seniors well that's the total right that's the whole goes on the bottom okay and then we are solving for x all right so let's go ahead and do that let me erase this right here for you give us some more room okay now let's go ahead and solve this well remember we're going to use cross multiplication and division to solve a, uh, a proportion so we have 750 times 2 of course that gives us 1500 all right and we're going to divide that 1500 by is it going to be divided by the 2 or the 5? Well, no, we've already used the 2 in the cross multiplication. So we have to divide by 5. Now, this is such a simple division problem that it's easy to get the wrong answer. Well, in this case, you won't get the wrong answer because you're given, uh, you're, you're given your solutions here. But if you're not careful about how you write this and if you don't use a calculator, um, you can easily get yourself uh, in trouble. Watch what I mean. So 15 goes into 5 three times, right? Now, if I wrote the 3 over here, just mistakenly, right, over this 0, then when I do this, I'm going to go 15, and I'm going to wind up with 0. Okay, so I know that's 0, right? Well, your immediate thought is, okay, it goes in 30 times. No, it's because you wrote it in the wrong place. So let's, um, let's back up and just do it correctly right from the beginning okay so we want to make sure to put it where it belongs and so the 3 goes over the 5 so 3 15 we have 0 which is 0 and then 0 again which is another 0 and of course our answer lines up with 300 seniors so I hope that you see how easy the problems are to solve when you set them up in a proportion